glad you could join us on this excellent topic of digital wallets. What is a digital wallet? It sounds cool for sure. A digital wallet is basically an app-based platform where you can store your financial information, like the details of a debit card, for example, and you can then use your smart device to wirelessly complete a transaction. They call that contactless payment, and it is pretty amazing. In addition to making things like completing a transaction easier at checkout, a lot of digital wallets can also help track purchases and stay current on how their banking account is doing. Digital wallets are frequently used in conjunction with smartphones, where you can simply download an app on your phone, set it up, and start using your phone instead of a debit or a credit card. These digital wallet apps have also come a long way fast and they are still evolving quickly. It's not just phones anymore. With wearable technologies like Apple or Galaxy series of smartwatches, you can actually use these devices to pay for something. This is so very helpful, and let's face it, so many people use digital wallets these days. Examples of a few major digital wallets include Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Apple Pay. Note that some digital wallets have restrictions. For example, where you need an Apple device to be able to use Apple Pay. You may have seen these apps on your smartphone already. Let me tell you how easy it is to use these. The convenience is by far worth it and makes life a lot easier. So now we understand how accessible digital wallets are, we need to understand how secure they are. Digital wallets add an extra layer of security. Think about what happens when you hand someone your debit or credit card, or if your cards were to be stolen. The card number and expiration date are typically right there on the card for the whole world to see. This matters not when it comes to digital wallets because they do not disclose your card number when you use them for transactions. Digital wallets instead communicate via encrypting your card's information, such as with a 16-digit token that is not to be the same as your actual debit card or credit card number. Further, smart devices typically require fingerprint verification, one-time authorization codes, or other confirmations before you can use your digital wallet. Mobile wallets also offer peace of mind because of their security requirements so that if you lose your phone, someone finding it would likely have to crack multiple security layers to access your digital wallet. The same cannot be said if you lost your purse or wallet containing your debit cards and credit cards. Finally, have you ever heard of card skimmers? Card skimmers are devices that criminals can attach to card readers most frequently at ATMs, gas stations, and retail stores. And those skimmer devices can record all of your card's information once you swipe it. With digital wallets, you don't have to worry about your card's information getting skimmed. When you add this all up, digital wallets offer another level of security for those fraudsters out there. To make it simple, let's say you go shopping on a shopping spree and you the first store that you stop at, you decide to purchase something with your digital wallet. You unlock your phone, you open the app, you verify your fingerprint, you tap your phone in the card reader, the merchant's device, and scan your phone. And it reads an encrypted 16-digit number instead of your credit card number. Done. If you're shopping online with your digital wallet, you might be prompted to log into your app or provide a password before you can even complete your transaction. Some digital wallets even offer facial recognition as a security feature. Using your digital wallet can save you from entering your credit card information every time you make a purchase as digital wallets automatically fills in your information for you. And again, safer. Before we go today, we should talk for a moment about the downside to digital wallets. Sure, digital wallets are an amazing concept, but they are not for everyone. For one thing, the technology is still in the process of being adopted. This means that not all digital wallets are accepted everywhere, and some digital wallets are accepted at more places than others. Next, securing your digital wallet means you have to be willing to take the time and set up your device's security and your digital wallet security properly. If you don't do this and walk around with your phone permanently unlocked, and all of the safeguards of your digital wallet disabled, you're going to be in trouble if your phone is ever lost or stolen. Finally, there are a lot of options for digital wallets out there, and you should always do your own homework and compare to see what works best for you. 
In particular, be mindful of any digital wallets that can charge you fees and make sure you understand upfront when, where, and how that can happen. So today we learned how easy of a tool a digital wallet is. We talked about some of the different types depending on your smartphone device of choice and the fact that it, there are pros and cons. We also learned the basics of how they work and most importantly, the security features that they provide. Thanks again for joining us and we will see you next month on Finance Friday.